bats cost a lot of money. You know, I was lucky as a pro cricketer that I didn't have to, you know, buy my own bats. And pro cricketers spend a lot of money on bats, anywhere between sort of 100, 300, 400 pounds on a bat. So for them, they need to make a good choice of their bats. Um, it's hopefully going to be with them for a couple of seasons. I think uh, bats change over time. Um, so different bat shapes come into vogue, uh, the scooped out uh, backs, the, the very, very fat bats that we're seeing now with the, the new ways of pressing woods and, and, and creating bats and so forth. So I think I think bats have changed a lot. The pickup's got to feel right. Um, it's got to feel comfortable in your hands. The handle is important, the bat rubber. I think a lot of youngsters these days don't change their bat rubbers as often as possible. I think the size of the bat is important when you're a young cricketer. Um, you've got to be capable of picking the bat up for a long period of time. You know, you might pick it up 100, 150, 200 times in an innings. So it's got to be the right weight for you. If you get the wrong bat, if you get a bat that's too heavy for you, um, you're going to uh, damage your technique probably by picking it up incorrectly or to using too much of the bottom hand to pick the bat up. If you get a bat that's too light, you probably won't be getting value for your shots. Um, if you pick a, if you pick a bat that, that doesn't you know doesn't suit your game and the, the middle's not quite in the right place for you again, you're not going to be getting value for your shots. So it's quite an important decision.